Okay, so we're going to discuss how to position and collimate our patient for our VD abdomen. DV abdomens are going to be very similar. They're just in sternal recumbency and not dorsal recumbency, but you have the same landmarks. So your VD abdomen, you're going to place them in dorsal recumbency. You're going to use your V tray so that you can keep them straight. Your light is going to be collimated to the greater trochanter which if you feel before you layer down, that'll be very easy to like visualize it going this way. If not, just take a look. It's gonna be like right between her legs, like right here. Your cranial border is going to be about two fingers worth, two inches worth roughly um, below her xiphoid process. It's still gonna be equal out to about the ninth rib. So if you look back, here's her 13th rib, here's her xiphoid process about halfway in between, if you count them out, it's still gonna fall about right here. Your lateral mark edges are going to be about an inch on either side. We're a little wide, so I can bring that in. You're going to wanna make sure you can extend her back legs evenly. So you want them even this way, as well as this way. Any kind of crookedness will put that S curve into her spine, but it also shifts everything in her abdomen. Her front legs are gonna be extended forward and you wanna take this on full expiration. And there is your collimation and your positioning for your VD abdomen.